When you look up at the night sky, what do you see? You probably said stars, right? Well, you're not incorrect. There's more to it. I'm going to simplify the answer for you. You simply are looking out into space with no sun to reflect off the atmosphere. You can just simply look out into space. Now, out of all those stars you can see, depending on where you live and the light pollution, how many of those are just stars with planets around them? How many of those are what looks like stars, but actually just whole galaxies out there? Well, what are the chances that Earth and one solar system out in space, one solar system and one galaxy out of the whole entire universe is the only one that contains any sort of life? Today's question is are we alone in the universe? For videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I like to post on a weekly basis, generally every weekend. So let's start at home. Now, in our solar system, there are nine planets. There's only eight planets. Whoa, someone must have corrected me. Like, there's only eight. I know this, but I believe, personally, Pluto is a planet. It's showing signs it acts like a planet more than an exo, well, more than, you know, a dwarf planet. And uh, we'll talk about that later. But in our eight planets, only one is suitable for life. But it wasn't always like that. It's believed that Mars was once like Earth. That Mars was former Earth, so something happened, and now it's a dry, dead planet. We are finding sources that there were oceans and rivers on Mars a long time ago. But we'll talk about Mars in another video. Today we're going to talk about are we simply alone in the universe. The Milky Way is one of at least 200 billion galaxies in our known universe. And that's at least, that is the least number, at least 200 billion is the estimate of, of galaxies in our known universe. That's not including the universe we haven't even, and we don't know about. That's just known, 200 billion. Now, all these have stars. Now, galaxies are formed up of stars and um, just random space junk, really just revolving around, just, just revolving around in space, and it, it creates a, a galaxy. Now, in these galaxies are individual solar systems and individual planets. Now, how many to be exact? Well, to just go ahead and go straight for the answer and quit milking everything, I'm just going to go ahead and say that this right here is how many estimate, uh, the estimate amount of planets are in our known galaxy. Now, for those of you who don't want to do the math, or the calculator will not read this number, 10 to the 24th power, um written out is actually a number I don't even know how to say. So I'm just going to write down the number of planets that are believed to be in our solar, not our solar system, our galaxy. These are the planets that are believed to be in our um, universe. Now this number could be less or more depending. Now how many of those are actually planets that can contain life that are in the um, what you call the uh, Goldilocks zone, in in their in their um, in their orbit in their in their solar system. Now, some solar systems only contain one planet or a couple, and some solar systems contain tons of planets. Some contain like ours eight, some contain nine, ten, and there's got to be a middle zone that is suitable for planets to contain life. So, this not too long ago. I believe it was either a week or a couple weeks ago. I want to say it was last week. NASA has discovered something out in um in space. They discovered some exoplanets revolving revolving around this star. Now they weren't looking into it, and this star star is called Trappist One. If you haven't heard about it, it's something I would definitely look up and get more information on. But the question really arose: Are we alone? When this came up, so Trappist One has seven. Not one, but seven Earth-like planets. Yes, Earth-like planets revolving around its sun. Now, three of these are in the Goldilocks zone. Not one, not two, three are in the Goldilocks zone. So, as NASA put it, it's like Goldilocks had three twin sisters in this, in this solar system. 
and they are in habitable zones and they're looking way more into them to see if they contain an atmosphere if they contain water what um if they have hydrogen what what's what the balance is it's just they want to look into the atmosphere and they're sending out a satellite not a satellite they're sending out a telescope very soon they look into this now this is called this system is called trappist one and has seven earth-like planets now the names of these earth-like planets well, all of them are like the names of the ones that are in the zone in the green zone. I'm going to say um, are D, E, and F. Trappist one D, Trappist one E, and Trappist one F are right there at a primary spot, and they're pretty. They're where Earth is. So, at a uh, perspective, let's say Trappist one, and there's there is life on D, E, or F. If they were looking at our solar system, they would be looking at Venus, Earth and Mars as their planets to be looking for life in. Now, Venus's climate is way too rough, I would put it, to contain life. That is a terrible planet to live. Now, life would be terrible there. The weather there is, is, is too extreme for any life to be there. So that would be out of the question. I don't know, it's something with Venus has terrible weather and Mars is is a dead planet i don't know if it drifted i don't know we don't know what happened to mars but that's something we're looking into but earth is primary condition crucial we have our atmosphere is right we just enough sunlight and we have water and all these other elements to make life grow carbon is the main thing carbon based life forms if there's not carbon in the um area if there's not carbon you can't have life you can they believe that life can be silicone they said they can have silicone base life forms but they're very fragile so the next would be carbon and carbon based life forms are only life forms that we know about so we believe there may be carbon based life forms on trappist 1d trappist 1e or trappist 1f now these are this is not science fiction this was discovered last week and they're gonna be looking into it and everyone is very excited about it so the question is are we alone in the universe well Here's your chances right here. I can't say this number, but it's that and one. Now you're thinking, well, what, what do you mean? I was like, what I mean is, out of all those planets, what are the chances that we are the only ones? What are the chances that we are the only ones in this condition? And we just discovered, not too far away, on a system called Trappist One, that three of these planets in the solar system are in the zone to contain life. And that's just one so solar system. One solar system in one galaxy. There's 200 billion galaxies. There's 10 to the 24th power planets. And all these galaxies. And we're looking at one solar system. So what are the chances that we're alone? I would say about slim to none. Now, but that's just my personal opinion. I'm James from Comsy Corner. And I'll see you in the next video.